Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's talk about the pricing and the scam that is right now going on in me authorized stores. As you know, these uh, latest Redmi Note uh, 10 series phones were launched and it's very difficult to get them even in, on Amazon and on me.com flash sales it comes it just goes away so yes you can buy it from the authorized me stores that uh, Xiaomi has all over the country but the problem is that uh, many of the users have complained it to me and I also actually uh, personally encountered it the problem is many of these sellers in this authorized me stores I'm not talking about third party stores uh, that are selling in black market no I'm talking about me authorized stores that are by me these guys are actually when you go to these stores and you want to buy these smartphones are compelling users to buy extra stuff for example they will uh, tell you if you want to buy this smartphone you have to buy this extra insurance plan or whatever for 1200 1300 rupees or you have to buy an extra bluetooth speaker that cost about 2000 rupees and if you deny them they will just say they don't want to sell it to you and this is happening a lot quite a few of you have actually uh, talked about uh, mentioned to me also i raised this point on twitter and some of you have said yes we had to pay extra in fact uh, 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 this uh, I, I saw this video from this tech partshala guy he uh, luckily he was able to record the conversation and it is really sad that this is coming from authorized seller and I think so this should actually stop I get it uh, Xiaomi uh, you have launched these smartphones at a very aggressive price point uh, and uh, if you want to sell it in the offline market you can be actually uh, be very forthcoming and say that yes if you buy these smartphones online on Amazon or me.com, it will be at this X price. But if you buy it from offline stores or our authorized store, it will be a little bit extra. Let's say 500 rupees, 600 rupees or whatever. But let's be forthcoming. Don't let your authorized stores to gouge the customers like this and boss around. This is simply unethical, guys. This is just plain wrong in my frank opinion. In fact, I would say this happened to me also personally. I did not go. I won't reveal the name of the me authorized store in Hyderabad. It was a very big one. I personally did not go. I sent my driver for uh, the Redmi Note 10 uh, Pro. Initially, they denied, but my driver pressed. They really wanted it. So they told me, yes, they can arrange it for me. Uh, and that model was for 17,000, but they quoted a price of 21,000. Uh, my driver just showed my photograph this is not for me for my boss and they just denied they said we don't have it so this is going on and the sad part is this is going on with the me authorized stores and this should stop uh, when a person is coming and buying a smartphone you just can't shove them accessories that you have to buy this also you have to buy that also if you buy, want to buy our smartphones and again let's not even talk about your online flash sales they are a real mess I hope, uh, Manu, uh, when you talk about this honest pricing, I like what pricing you have done. But let's just make it honest and be forthcoming. If persons are buying from our offline stores, yes, there will be some extra price, let's say 500 rupees or whatever. But again, let's be forthcoming and let's just stop your authorize me uh, sellers uh, to st stop gouging this uh, stuff from customers charging whatever extra they want they'll bundle accessories if you want to buy just stop this this is just not fair would uh, love to know your opinion about that and if you buy, uh, bought any what do you say Xiaomi smartphones etc uh, or these new Redmi uh, Note 10 series smartphone from the offline market did you have to pay extra if you paid extra what uh, extra accessories you had to buy uh, let me know in the comment section below and uh, guys again share this video that uh, others also know about this and I hope Xiaomi takes an action on this. I hope Manu you take this into account. Anyways guys that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.